Hello friends, right now you are looking at the crankshaft fitted with the timing rotor. This is 2NZ Toyota Corolla engine. This engine was seized due to oil pump failure and we have dismantled it. Now we can easily explain about the working of the sensor in this engine. The position sensor is attached to the engine block facing the timing rotor on the crankshaft. It counts the number of teeth on the crankshaft that have passed the sensor. Sending this value to the ECU which can work, then work and find where the crankshaft is on its 360 degree rotation. The rate of positional change is used to calculate the engine's rotational speed. ECU calculates the firing order and the timing of the engine with the help of this sensor. This is called the the crankshaft position sensor. First you have seen the rotor on the crankshaft. We have dismantled this engine completely. That's how I am able to show you crankshaft sensor and the crankshaft rotor whose teeth are counted by the crankshaft sensor. This is the engine compartment from where this engine is removed. If the crankshaft or camshaft sensor fails, the engine won't start. In this video, we have dismantled the 2NZ Toyota Corolla engine, which has both sensors, the camshaft sensor and the crankshaft sensor. This is the camshaft sensor. This sensor sends the signal to the ECU about the position of the camshaft to spray the fuel. It also works with the crankshaft sensor. The position of the valve and the position of the piston and the strokes all is calculated with the help of these two sensors. The timing of your engine, the fuel spray and starting of your engine depends on these two sensors. In case of failure of any one of the sensor, your engine will not be able to start. This is twin cam engine and these are the two cams of this engine. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe the channel for more videos like that.